A scabies outbreak among some homeless people in Santa Clara County. Tonight, authorities are working to keep the infectious disease from spreading. Hygiene is an issue. Um, people in the community who are homeless do have to face you know, poor hygiene. They don't have access to shower every day like we do. The disease is caused by a small burrowing mite, and it can spread quickly through close physical contact. Good evening. I'm Greg Lee. And I'm Claudine Wong. So far, nearly half a dozen people in Sunnyvale are currently seeking treatment. New at 6, KTVU South Bay reporter Jesse Gary has the very latest. Jesse? Claudine, good evening to you. The exact number of people that are infected is under dispute. Folks here at the shelter say it's one number. Advocates say the number is actually slightly higher. There's also a dispute over the treatment of what they call patient zero. Advocates say more could have been done to keep other people from getting infected. County officials say earlier this month, a male unhoused resident in the North County Homeless Shelter became infected with scabies. Scabies is a mite, so it is in fact the skin, it burrows into the skin, so it can cause intense itching. Officials with the Bill Wilson Center, which was awarded a one-year contract starting July 1st for this 100-bed site in Sunnyvale, isolated the infected person. Our initial quarantine procedures here at the shelter are physical separation with, uh, with movable uh, partitions, which is the first step in the process. At least two other residents, and possibly as many as four others, became infected. One staffer also tested positive for scabies. One resident who was previously infected describes the irritation. It's just, it itches a lot. And they, they get in between your fingers and that's, that could be pretty uncomfortable. Shelter officials say they implemented the second phase of their quarantine protocols, moving the infected persons to nearby motels. Meanwhile, county medical staff treated the scabies with this topical cream. They apply on, we give really clear instruction to put on for eight hours, shower after that. Some homeless advocates say the number of infections increased because patient zero wasn't removed right away and instead was still mingling with other people. As soon as you see somebody with pink eye, you send them to a hotel. As soon as somebody has lice, you send them to a hotel. As soon as somebody has scabies, you send them to a hotel. It's that Bill Wilson Center doesn't know how to run a shelter. We needed more significant quarantine procedures and we ended up using a motel for quarantine. We are following full quarantine procedures as it relates to anyone presenting with scabies. At least one Santa Clara County supervisor wants to re-examine and the procedures that are in place to prevent future outbreaks. And I really believe that uh, they should have been sent to these congregate uh, to the motels much, much earlier uh, and seek medical help much, much earlier. The infected residents continue recovering, as does the one employee who was infected, that person recovering at their home. Supervisor Otto Lee says he's going to make sure that the unhoused residents get all the time they need in the motels to get healthy before coming back to the shelters. We're live in Sunnyvale this evening. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Claudine, back up to you. Yeah, okay. certainly. Uh, putting a stop and containing this is so important. All right, Jesse Gary, thanks so much for that live report.